Hey guys, we are back for another kid-friendly artsy craftsy video. So one of the things I do every day for those of you who are new to my channel or haven't followed me before or watched my videos before is I do little daily drawings every single day. Now I do them usually downstairs on the sofa, um, but I brought up one of my little sketchbooks. This is one I made and um, I usually stick a sticker on the front that I have laying around. Anyway, I usually have a list of prompt wor prompted words and I glue it to the front cover. And then every day I just do a quick, simple little drawing every day. So for those of you who are allowed to be on Facebook, I do have a Facebook group called A Life of Art and Self-Expression. And there is a list of words uh, in there every month. This is March. You can get January and February's too by looking in the photo albums. But for you here on YouTube, I have a list just for you kids. Yes, it's it's formatted, for those of you who know how to use a computer, it's formatted a little weirdly because I thought I had it done and then realized I only had 28 words and had to add three more because I wanted to do a month's worth of words. So yeah, that's a thing. <sighs> anyway, I am going to put a link in the video description to a place where you can freely, safely download this list of words. You can print it out um, on um, mom and dad's computer with their permission um, and or save it to your device that you're watching this video on, again, with their permission so you have access to the list of words. Um, the word for the first day is breakfast. Um, so what did you have for breakfast, right? So before we start on our list of words, we are going to actually make something to draw them in. So I'm going to put all that to the side. I have my little paper trimmer here. Now, for those of you who aren't old enough to use scissors or a paper trimmer, maybe you don't have a paper trimmer, you need to use scissors, so you can definitely do that. Um, maybe you're not old enough to use either one. Get a grown-up to help you. Um, if you don't have either one around, you can definitely tear your sheets to the size you want. I am going to use this piece of paper that I've doodled on as my cover. And then I'm gonna just use, usually I use plain white, white drawing paper, kind of a thick white drawing paper. But I want to show you all that you just don't have to have any fancy paper. You can just use anything. This is obviously yellow. It's just a plain old pad of yellow lined paper from Staples that I probably had longer than most, some of you have been alive. So we are gonna tear some sheets off of this. I think I'm gonna do three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So normally I use thicker paper so I can draw on both sides. But you know what, I think we're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna take eight sheets of paper. And we're gonna measure how big our cover sheet is. Now, if you don't have um, access to a ruler or a paper trimmer, just lay your piece of paper you want to be your cover on top, trace around it, and then cut all of these papers out. All right. Oh, that might be good, and then the line's going out. Do I care which way the lines are going? Because that's that. if your paper has a pattern on it, that might be a thing. If I do it this way, the sheets will be a little smaller than the cover, but that might be okay. I think I'm gonna do that actually. So I'm not gonna measure anything. I'm gonna just take one of my pencils here and put a little mark. And then we're gonna cut them out. Right about there. Okay, then we're gonna take all of our inside pages and fold them in half. Like that. We're gonna take our cover and fold it in half. Like that. Now if you're old enough to use a needle and thread, the best way to do this is to sew everything together. So you just poke a couple holes in the cover and string thread through it, like I did this one. 
and tie it in a knot. I have a video on how to do this. I can link it in the video description for you, but it's very, very easy. But maybe you're not old enough for that, or maybe you don't have a needle and thread. I wanna show you an, a different idea. I went around and round and round with this in my head, how we could do this. I think I came up with an idea. So let's give it a try, shall we? Let me pull the chair over. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is work on our inside pages. We've got everything folded in half. We've got our Elmer's glue. Now this is some Elmer's glue I have. It's in a bottle with a teeny tiny tip on it. Um, this would be the best thing. Most of you aren't gonna have access to this. So I want to show you how you can just do it with regular Elmer's glue. This is just plain old Elmer's school, school glue, we've, what we've been using. The trick to this is gonna be not getting too much glue on there. So we're gonna start with one sheet. And I'm not young anymore, so I need my reading glasses. Hang on. Okay. We're gonna take a little bit of our Elmer's and we're gonna just take a little bit, squeeze it just a little bit, you don't want too much, and just run the tip right across the fold. Then take one of your sheets and put it on top of the glue. Match up those fold lines. And then do it again. Now the glue will stay wet for a little bit so you can move it around a little bit. You don't wanna move it around too much because the more you move it around, the more it's gonna spread out the glue and the less pa paper you're gonna to have to draw on. So that's gonna be an issue. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, and just keep doing that until you have all the inside pages glued together. I'm gonna do that, I'll be right back. Okay, once you have all your inside pages glued together, then I want you to take your cover and again, along the fold, I'm gonna take some Elmer's glue. Shouldn't take more than that. And then put your inside pages Just like that. There we go. So then once that dries, you have a little sketchbook. I am I should wait till it dries. I'm not really going to um, while it's kind of still wet. I'm gonna glue my list of words to the inside cover. go and then I'm going to let the whole thing dry and in the next video we will work on doing our first of our daily drawings yeah all right so make your sketchbooks um, if you don't want to make one maybe you already have a little notebook you can use a composition notebook a pad of paper loose sheets you don't have to make a, a little drawing book but they're kind of fun to have and then you can just have that in your pencil and you can take it wherever you are um, I have a whole little kit of things that's downstairs all right that's it for now. I'll be back in the next video and we'll be working on drying breakfast. What did you have for breakfast? Um, yeah, I can't wait. This is gonna be fun. All right, so go out and um, get your notebooks together, get your crayons and pencils together. Let's see what we can do to stay occupied, stay positive, uh, help out mom and dad um, while they're we're all home and um, you know, they're kind of stressed out and we need to help them out by um, keeping ourselves occupied and maybe sharing with them. Maybe you want to get them involved in the daily drawing. I think that's a great idea. I have people online of all ages that are doing it with me. Um, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, my information is in the video description. Check with mom and dad first, please. And uh, yeah, go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.